Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Continuing with uh, the French wine, we've got uh, today <clears throat> the 2008 Domaine Saint Marc uh, from Pomard. Now, Pomard is a, um, and this I bought this also at uh, Nicholas, which I bought the other one. Is it? No, not all of them. Yeah, not all of them yet. Wait a minute, did I do the other one? Nope. So, Nicholas, I bought all these wines from. And uh, bought this for 25 euros and 95 cents. Uh, that equates to just about 35 dollars and 75 cents uh, U.S. So um, getting a little bit pricier now <clears throat> with the wine. Um, Domaine Saint Marc, like I said, is in, is in the Pomard area, and that, if you don't know, is in Burgundy, and more specifically, is in the Côte de Beaune, uh part of Burgundy. This is a 100% Pinot Noir wine, as most red wines from uh, Burgundy are, if you didn't know that, and um, unless you're from Beaujolais, and that's Gamay. Anyway, um, you know, that's such a part of Burgundy. They're almost always 100% Pinot Noir. You might find the occasional wine that's not, but um, anyway, 100% Pinot Noir, and uh, Bone is the uh, central part of Cote de Bone, and Pomars is a little bit south of uh, Bone in the uh, in the area. All right, so um, let's see. I guess we should start tasting some wine, huh? I think I got all the information out like I was supposed to. Even forgot, even uh, remember to say the price. All right, so let's kind of take a look at it now. Um, already, it's you know typical of Pinot Noirs, uh, especially. Normal Pinot Noirs from Burgundy. Uh, it's very light. I can see my hands. I can see my hand. Not hands. It'd be kind of weird. I can see my fingers, my hand easily through the wine. It's a very, very light red. Um, very, very light red. And at the edges, it's almost clear. Um, so very light on that. Uh, very low viscosity. I think it's a 12. No, it's a 13%. Wine. I think I only have one twelve and a half. Everything else is thirteen percent today. All right, on the nose, man, I get some nice smokiness. I think I'm gonna really like this wine. Definitely get you know lots of smoke, and I get like wood, woodsy, almost like you know like a, a fireplace is burning type of, or you have a campfire going on. So you get that kind of woodsy campfire type of um, uh, smell going on. Sometimes I equate this smell with like just being out in, in, the, in the brush, in the woods area of, of Texas, but not quite. Not exactly like that, but very much, very much similar, very similar. All right, I feel like it smelled the bark. That's that that type of woodsy smelling. All right, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Right as I was about to start taking that sip, I kind of inhaled a bit, and I got all the fruit. It like the fruit said, "Hi, hold on, don't forget we're here," because I did. So now with, with the fruits, it's still very, uh, very heavy with the smoky and the wood type of uh, flavors, but now now the fruits coming in. Um, 
I don't like to use the word candyfied, but but I get you know definitely that that cherry type of of uh, fruit going on. And a little hint of that kind of hot sauce type of thing, Tabasco-y type of stuff. It just like it, it had a tad, a touch of it. But yeah, I mean, it's still just really smoky, earthy, woodsy. Um, I do feel like I'm biting into, into a tree branch. Um, so maybe a little too woody for me, but um, it's definitely very enjoyable. Um, no, cre not, not creamy, none of that type of stuff. It's, it's just very mineral. Uh, it's a very mineral, you know, mineral-like minerality going on. Um, not, I wouldn't say necessarily vegetal, because you got a little bit of the, the little bit of the cherry, but you've also got um, really a lot of the wood and the smoke. I do like it. Uh, very light, very low tannins, um, very low acidity. But a nice, a nice wine. You can drink it by itself, but I really think that food will enhance the wine a little bit. Um, speaking of that, earlier today I had some pasta. You know, some had some macaroni with red sauce and meatballs and, and sausage. You know, typical Italian little lunch. <clears throat> Wasn't little, but typical Italian lunch. And um, we had some of the spell wine. While I still wasn't as so I still wasn't really high on the wine. It definitely benefited from having meat, not even just the red sauce. Like I, I ate some of the meatballs, drank some of the wine, and it, 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 like I said, it's a food wine. Like you can't drink it by itself. I can't. It's just too much of the Christmas type spice. The you know the spices, it's just too much. And when it has a little bit of cream to it, and it was just like I can't, I can't get past drinking it just on its own. Um, I mean, I was, I was literally at the point because I hadn't really paired it with any food yet. I was at the point of, I was going to dump it down the drain. But once I had it with beef, it was remarkably better. I still stand by the score I gave it. Um, as it wasn't like it jumped scoring wise, but if I had to score it again, just on its own and I wasn't thinking about pairing it, it would have scored a little bit lower anyway. So enough of that. I said, you got to put that with food. This one I think it will. It will. It won't be this a dramatic enhancement with 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 uh, with the food, but it will definitely go very well with your your lighter fare food and some cheeses. Definitely don't want to um, put it with anything really really heavy, you know, steak, you know, ribeye type of steaks. I I think it would be too much. Your 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 tenderloin type of stuff, your your sirloins, fillets, um, it would go better with that. Um, definitely, I would think it would go better with um, uh, your seafood type of stuff. Again, I'm not a seafood fan, but just because of the the how heavy seafood or, or the type of texture seafood is, um, duck. Yeah, duck. <laughs> um, I've never had any type of goose other than. I may have had some goose liver at one point. I mean, I had, I mean, I had the uh, the foie gras, but it was it wasn't goose liver foie gras. Um, apparently, it wasn't the good good stuff. It was, it was the duck one. Um, you could pair it with foie gras, I guess, but it might be a little bit too creamy for this. Um, but you know that your lighter fare pork. That was the thing I was actually trying to remember. Pork definitely you could put that with a pork chop. Maybe a little bit of sauce on it. Um, Eighty seven. Solid wine, really good. Um, Eighteen dollars, seventeen dollars, depending you know what the euro translation is. Sixteen dollars, maybe if if it's getting better. Um, yeah, pretty good. What's a recommend? You know, I'd recommend it. I mean, it's 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 a it's getting up there. Oh, it's under. This was thirty five. No, I was looking at the other one. Thirty five, seventy five. Yeah, I was like, man, that's a little low. Um, I mean, it's getting up there. I I recommend it, uh, but. 
Yeah, if you find it, buy it. It's pretty good. I might be drinking more of this tonight. Um, I'm not grab sandwiches tonight for dinner, so I may have one of the other wines with it. All right, that's going to do it for uh, today's show. Um, again, make sure you stop by uh, Vinicy Speaking. Um, check out uh, Ceci's blog. And uh, also check out the um, uh, Beaujolais Nouveau tasting that uh, she's going to be doing that I'm going to be joining her with or joining her uh, on that bunch with other people. There will be a link on her blog for that. Um, maybe I should put a link on. I'm going to put a link on her blog so you can go to her blog to go to that. I'll put a link to on mine. Um, so we've got that. Um, 200th episode's coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. My Beaujolais Nouveau's coming up. I'll be online live doing uh, Ustream and Skype if you want to join in. Um, so we'll be doing that. That'll be the afternoon of the 17th um, because the other other things at night. And um, over here, just if you want to help with the show, help with the cost of the wine, donate. And that's it. We'll see everybody again next time.